da 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 Oh, I am here. Ah, da da. Uh, okay, so um, we're doing something a little different. Um, I, I learned from a few mistakes from the uh, the Kaiju, the Kaiju, and I love you, Colonel Sanders. Um, I'm gonna. I brought the game overlay to the very, very front. Um, I also made a few changes to my lighting, so but I, I, I do seem to be a little bit more subdued um, in my lighting. But I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it because I don't care. So what we are playing now is we are playing Inked. A Tale of Love by Somnium Games. This is an independent studio. Before this part of the stream, I explained a little bit about its development, its history. Um, but I'm not going to get into it again because it's not really that necessary. Um, you can find this on Steam. It is. I think it is also available on Switch. Um, but I can't. And I should confirm that before I say any more. <laughs> um, but... This game is made by a single developer uh, for, and it was developed over many years. And this is a, uh, what is called a narrative puzzle platformer. It's a, it's a puzzle game, um, but more on, along the lines of the, of the, um, any sort of a platform puzzle, like the, like the Metro Metroid games. Uh, but this is not an uh, this is not an action platformer. This is a, an art platformer. In a in there, and because it's called a narrative puzzle platform, the, the, there's a story that follows here. So again, you know how I like to to play story games because again, it's it's good for your reading skill, your listening comprehension, and being able to follow what is happening through the game. Um, and that's very much very, very true here. So without further ado, let's get into Inked, A Tale of Love. So I want to do, uh, hold on. At the beginning of every story, you meet the hero. But this one has no name. He left it behind him. Ah. The nameless hero focused on the final part of his training. Ah. Ah. So I apologize if the, um, and the audio on this is... Um, not very good. Yeah, there you go. I think I think I got it fixed now. Um, I, again, I apologize if the, if the audio is too quiet. So let me keep 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 going here. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of sound check while I play this game just to see that the audio is going okay. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of sound check while I play this it's game. It's good to hear that. Okay. Look at that, the art silence is so beautiful. The hero's dear, Aiko, painted the spring of life, a vibrant sight of plants and fish jumping around. 
It was always yeah, this is well this going well. For her. Yeah, this is going well. And I need to have my headphones in. I'm going to have my studio monitors on because um, I, need, I need the audio to be able to follow the story. Um, yeah, so there's a little automatic animations. <coughs> Excuse me. So this uh, this uh, samurai has given up his sword, and uh, has decided to devote his um, his attention to Aiko, who can paint amazing art. There's these birds. Are these good birds or bad? Oh, this is so this is so fun! Like a three D animated. So you're. You're seeing the point of view of an artist who intrudes on the scene as you play. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Redraw mode. What's the redraw button? Oh, it's, it's the X button. Uh, so this is like the tutorial. This gives you a hint. Oh, yeah, I see. So I wonder if this will give give hints through the whole of the game. Um, okay, hold on. So by pushing a redraw, it actually gives me control of... Oh. Yeah, it gives me control of uh, some objects. So redraw that basically just means you can control some of the, the art elements of the game, but then you can interact directly with the elements by pushing the, the B button, I guess. So they're having this conversation with the birds. These look like they're crying, so they're not bad. So she's putting the art down. Why is she putting the art down? Oh, to help the bird. So he's jumping on the thing to break it, maybe? To break the bamboo, because he can break the bamboo at, at its weak points. And I guess the storks, the, uh, the cranes, not storks, storks. God, I'm the worst. Like, what was that game that I played and I couldn't figure out the birds? <laughs> it's like, oh, the unfinished swan. And I kept calling it a duck, a goose, a rabbit, a monkey. <laughs> So she's going off with her with her picture. So she's off to do the picture. So, samurai. The tiny bird. The couple started making their way back home. Okay, great. So how is the how is uh, overall audio? I'm still very very flat. I don't, I'm not really understanding why my audio is is as flat as it is, but. Oh well, so am I gonna, can I move? I can't, oh, I can't move. I have to be directly interact with the object, but if I can redraw it. Oh, what? So hold on, I need to get up to the red lever. It's not giving me hints anymore. And I love as he walks, he's leaving little ink blots as he as he goes. And the atmospheric oh, the atmospheric art, oh, atmospheric music and sound. Like you can still hear the cranes. Um, so I guess you can just you can like you can manipulate the objects as many times as you want. I'm glad that so it's looking like the tutorial it just keeps going and going and going and that's fine. Um Okay. Oh okay, so she just follows along. And I know and I love it it's such a very, very small art assets. The figures are so small, but she but they have so much character and personality. Just a little subtle moments. It's, it's, this is so great. Can I climb? Can I climb the tree? No, this. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This art is so beautiful. Again, another story elements. 
Just putting this this picture down. It was a pretty day, and Faye decided to stay outside a while longer. So she's drawing a picture. I think she's doing a portrait. A bird with a broken wing appeared. Who could have done this, they wondered. Ha. Huh. Ah, oh, and away she goes. So now, she's gone off in her umbrella, and he's picked up the paintbrush. Can I go in the house? No. So. Ico urged the hero to open the portal. They had to find out what evil befell their feathery friends. So, do I have to figure out a puzzle? So as he walks, he's bringing... Oh, she's doing something, too. I'm not sure what she did, and I'm not sure what I just did. Okay. Loading screen. The cool breeze of the sea made the hero shiver. It reminded him that the world beyond their home is vast and decayed. I So I have to understand something here. So the narrator is trying to just give us and give us necessary information in he's he, the, the the narrator is introducing necessary details as we play. So we're in this very peaceful, very beautiful environment in the beginning. The warrior, the the nameless hero, right, um, has given up the sword and has, and has picked up the paintbrush. But there's trouble. And now we learn that oh, actually, um, the world is a cold and big, and it's decaying place. It's decaying. There also seems to be this technology or this fantastic magic. Uh, in this world, press explore button to explore mode. Is there explore mode? I wonder if these become necessary elements here. I don't understand. Okay, so she's walking Michael along. Asked the hero to hurry because a long journey was ahead of them. The nests were on top of a tower across the sea and the rivers beyond the forest. It will be a great challenge for the retired um, warrior. Why would it be a challenge for a retired warrior? Why can't Iko? Just let it go. If it's so far away and it's going to be challenging, why does she need to go after them? What happened to the other people? Why can't we let other people know and let them deal with it? I mean, the, the nameless hero, the warrior, he's, he's fought his fight. Right? What's that? So I already found the one because in the tutorial when I was doing the settings, I found one picture. That seems to be by accident, but now not doing it by accident. Why is she so insistent on leaving me behind? Oh. 
So this is going to be one of those things where I just have to move. Look at that. And what? Animation. Okay, hold on. Can I move this here? Why do I need to redraw one object in order to move another object? But uh, I wonder. Ah. Well, in this in this world, you just okay. Just just I, I expect that you know some things work and some things don't work, and you have to you have to navigate through all of that. Okay, why she keeps running away? Like, what's what's the deal? Um, so here's up here. Wait. Oh, I'm just gonna move this, huh? Here's the left. Why? Oh, so I can do this. Ah, and she's doing it together with me, so she knows it's a two person job. She just keeps going, she just keeps going running away. Okay. Um, but how am I going to get over to, okay, I know what to do. I'm going to jump up here. No? Move this? No, redraw this? Oh, so some objects you can redraw, some objects you have to move. Well together. They will need each other if they want to reach the bird nests. So can I just like carry this thing wherever I want? Yeah, I guess I can. Why are you, why are you up there? Come on. Okay, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. One second. Come on. I can do this. Um, we're going to redraw to here. Okay. Huh? Oh. Okay, buddy. I'm going to move you over here. That's exactly how I'm going to do things. Uh. Oh. Hmm, I need, can I come back here? No, I can't, I can't, I can't cheat. I can't cheat. But can I go? Oh, that's all I needed to do? Really? Okay. I thought I could cheat, but I guess you can't. They marveled at the serene world the artist drew for them. And away she goes again. 
that they work together, but there's so much separation. What does that mean? She's, I mean, I guess, I guess it's, it's a part of the game mechanic that the, the nameless hero has to keep following his love. And, and with the end goal being that they weren't going to help the birds, but it's so far away. And like, you know, the warrior has, has put away his sword. Like I said this before, like I'm not, if, heck yeah, I guess, if I could just, okay. You know, I have a feeling. Uh, I have to turn my brain off a little bit and just accept that, okay, the, the plot device is, I, I gotta just keep going after, going after my, uh, lady friend. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm just yawning because I'm tired <laughs> and I've been teaching since 530. So remember, I can switch it, so... And do this. And then I can do this. I'm just curious, can I jump off? Is there a danger for me to jump off this thing? No, there's not. Okay. Yeah, there's not. Okay. Not easy puzzles. Not easy puzzles. But also, I'm just very distracted just by how beautiful the artwork is on this game. It is. It is really beautiful. Okay, clearly, I need to go... So let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to move the ramp up here. But hold on, I got to be careful here. Okay, will it go? Hold on. I love how the little uh, the hero just controls around the lever. Goes down. Be careful, Iko. Now is it gonna go? Okay, so I wonder if there's a time mechanic to this. Hold on, let me try something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a time mechanic to this. There's a, hold on. There's an artwork here. Got it, three of nine, got it. Hey! I, it's, it's, what is it? It's a, it's a chicken. No, it's not. It's a crane, right? I don't, I don't know words, words, birds. I don't know words and I don't know birds. Good. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Here we got the portal. The, lots, the pair succeeded and pushed onward. She races ahead. <laughs> She's like, come on, buddy. I love it. I love it. This is so great. Very charming. Achievement unlocked. Sea of Geometry, Chapter 2. Okay. Is there artwork here? There is. I think I see it. Haha. -ha. Wait, hero canvas, one of nine. Oh my goodness. So there's, oh man. 
So I wonder if it's like, um, what was the game that I played recently where there were a lot of achievements, but they didn't really matter, not really at the end. To the Moon. I didn't stream that game. Uh, it's called To the Moon. And there were sort of these sort of, like, you know, collectible achievements in the game, and um, it, it, it didn't matter. They didn't change the, the game at all, but they were kind of fun. Press the cycle button to draw between drawn objects. What is the cycle button? Oh. So let me draw this and go here. So now I can, now this is how you do multiple objects. Okay, great. Now, can I hold on? So I'm okay. Here we go. First puzzle that's going to defeat me. Yeah, this is going to defeat me. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm going to stream for maybe 10 more minutes. By the way, I'm just going to stream for 10 more minutes. I, I don't want to use up all this time just being scratching my head on this. Uh, what happens if I do this? Ah, so I fall, but I won't die. So cycle through. What if I do this? Oh. <laughs> the artist was often clumsy and would have his hand slip. Really? The artist is being unreliable. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. She's run off again. So okay, this is very much a a, a line driven uh, puzzle. There's it's not open world. It's a fixed path, very fixed path. Yeah, definitely a very fixed path. Yeah. Fixed path. There we go. Okay. Oh. And then cycle through. Let's try. Oh, two balls. Three objects. I think I've got it. Okay. I'm going to draw this. Then I'm going to do this. So this is very much a um, timed. Oh, for sure, this is going to be a timed thing. So what we'll do is we'll cycle through to this, bring it up here. Then we will grab this, do the same thing. Exactly so? I don't know. Hold on. Let's find out. Uh, up here. If, if it's timed, if it's time, I'm, I'm just too slow. I can't do it. Oh. She. Any more art? Any more art? Canvases? 
Any more canvases? I want to see more canvases. Where are the canvases? I want to see. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing it. Come on. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to go up here. Right. But how do I get up there? I need to. Oh. Huh. I need to climb up here. Oh, so that's what I'll do is I'll bring this over here. Oh, sorry. Go across. Come on. This is a little, 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 little clunky. Oh, come on, come back, back. Turn this. Go back over. Um, oh, you know what's interesting? I need to figure out a way to get this block closer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cycle to the ball. Look at me. Uh, but now how do I get down? <laughs> how do I get down? No, hold on. Do I? Oh, yeah, I gotta. Ah, oh, I gotta keep doing the stinking. Well, first of all, let me. First of all, let me get across first. Yeah, this is this is this is rough. Okay. Yeah, this is this is this is rough. This is a little bit of how how to how to how to stretch game time. How to stretch game time, definitely. The mechanic here is okay. You're so you're stuck up there now. You got to get down because uh, otherwise this will be a five minute game. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where'd she go? And hold on. Is that an art? Is that a thing? It is. Hey, look at me. Is there more R? Hold on. No? No? Okay. So, okay, hold on. I gotta... Uh... Only two. There's only two. So clearly I've got to do this. Oh. Huh. So if I do this, if I grab this and do like here, it'll fit, right? No, it won't fit. Interesting. Hold on. But what if I do, what if I could get the blue box? Hmm. If I could get the blue box. Oop. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Hmm. 
won't let me do that. It won't let me do that. Interesting. So this is not the solution. I'm going to keep trying. Hold on. Yeah, this is not the solution. But what if I do this? Oh. Can I bring it down with me? What if I do this? What if I bring... Oh, so I can bring it down this way. I'm just going to move it over all the way over here. This will be my last puzzle. I'm going to stop with this puzzle here. Uh, and then get this thing. No, actually, no. I'm going to grab this, this guy. Ah, it worked. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see. Hey, moved all of the stuff. I run across, blah, 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 blah. It won't let me go any other way. Ah. Uh. Amazing artwork on this game. It's just just amazing. Just the contrast and everything. Oh, I think go. Rotate left controller to reveal the memory. The paper holds many memories from the artist's life, but he wouldn't want you to look at them. Why, 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 wait, what? Okay, so here are interesting, very heavy Buddhist elements that's connected to the Japanese Im Im imagery here. But this is, um, this is from, you know, samurai era, you know, but, but the architecture and the, the fantasy elements are very future and very abstract oriented. And then we have this memory that shows a couple in modern day fashion and hairstyle contemporary not not you know edo period or whenever so so there's a clash of time settings if that's a thing to say okay is this supposed to be the nameless hero and Aiko? And then away Aiko goes. All right. So can, we can collect art canvases of different kinds. Um, we can collect memories that are going to reveal more of the artist, the unreliable narrator. We got the ball, but no hole. But also, how do I? Guess I need to get to the box, push it down. Oh, why did she just go there? 
I meant to put the box down here, no? Or maybe put it here? I'm going to stop the stream in two minutes, by the way. I'm giving myself two minutes to figure out what's going on here. I call she went this way, right? Let me try something. I want to try something. Get better, you can do this. Ah, got it. Pose no challenge for the nameless hero. His hand was steady and his mind was sharp. But I'm not seeing any more art. I don't see any more canvases. I didn't actually look very hard. To be fair, I did not look very hard. Alright, this is a good place to stop. Yep, I'm going to stop here. Alright, thank you very much for uh, checking out this game with me. It is Inked A Tale of Love. And what's very intriguing about this story is we're learning about this couple, the nameless hero and Aiko. But we're also learning a little bit about the the artist, who we only learn through the narrator, who is yet another voice, who kind of, that the, the narrator's voice tells us a little bit about the, about the world, but also gives us, feeds us information about the artist. But who's telling the story? Is it the artist or the narrator? Because they don't seem like the same person. They're the narrator is making observations about the about the artist, like the, that, that the artist wouldn't do. So it seems like so this is very interesting. This is hmm hmm okay. I'm curious about this and about those memories. Like, uh, are the memories that we discover that reflect something about the artist? Are they in the real time? And then the artist is projecting some fantasy that is a disjointed timeline. It's a samurai, but also this abstract futuristic environment, you know, uh, Iger kind of thing. Um, interesting, very interesting. Um, but worth a lot of conversation too. And also why, why is this world so big and decaying? And the why is it just kind of considered that's a normal, that's a natural thing? This is the way the world is. Um, who is telling us this? Uh, the artist who's drawing this bleak world with moments of beauty. There's there's, there's you know, shades of, of color. Or is it the narrator? Like, what's going on here? So, um, but I probably won't be streaming this game again. I, I mean, I'm definitely going to play this game in my, in my own time, but I'm probably not going to stream this game. But I, I, I'd be inter interested to know, what do you think of this game? So anyway, um, thank you. That'll be the stream. And with that, I say goodbye and happy Valentine's.